Hey guys, so let me give you a little info on the sustainable bathhouse. First off, this building will not be tied to city water or sewer. Um, we're going to utilize one of these 275 gallon water totes to store water. Uh, the plumbing is going to have hot and cold running water as you would expect uh, using a pressurized pump system and an electric instant hot water heater. So there is going to be hot and cold feeding to a sink and a shower and then both of those are going to exit out to a separate gray water pit. Regarding the toilet, we researched all of the waterless toilet options, most of which are of the composting variety. And in the end, we decided on what's called the Incinolid. Um, this is a little bit more of an expensive option, but also the least interactive. And what do I mean by that? Well, after you're done with your business, you press a button on the Incinolid and it vaporizes or incinerates all of the number ones and number twos down to a neat little pile of ash. I mean, how cool is that? So this was by far the cleanest and the easiest option, and we really like the idea of that. The Incinolit does run on 220, so we are gonna run a sub panel to the bathhouse, which will be tied to our solar system on our house. And our solar system is grid tied to the city of Albuquerque, but does cover all of our energy usage on the property. And finally, it is our intention to build this bathhouse with as much green and recycled material as we can. So we're actively shopping every step of the way to see what we can find recycled um, for cost savings and for the sustainability of the project.